I thought it would be fun to try cloth simulation this time. Let's get started. Why don't we quickly model a simple coat rack to hang our cloth? Shift A to add a cylinder. Shade smooth and turn on auto smooth. Let's move it up and go into edit mode. Press 3 for face select and move this face down. Then press I to inset and E to extrude. Let's add another cylinder to make hooks. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this model since it's just a helping object for our cloth simulation. Press Shift D to duplicate the hook. I'm just going to join all and add a bevel modifier. Again, I wouldn't model like this if it were an important object in a scene, but it serves the purpose for this tutorial. Let's add a plane for the floor. Scale in edit mode and extrude this edge up in the z-axis for a backdrop. Let's bevel this edge for smoother look. It's finally time to add our cloth. We're just going to use a simple plane. Let's subdivide. I'm going for 50 cuts. Scale a bit and position the cloth about here. Click on Collision under Physics Properties for both the floor and the stand. I'll disable the floor selection. Let's add a vertex group for our cloth. We need to do this if we want to use the pin group option. Go to Top View and select these verts. Click on the plus button to add a group and don't forget to hit the Assign button. Go to Physics Properties and click on Cloth. Go down to where it says Shape and select the vertex group we've just made as Pin Group. Then click on Collisions and check Self Collisions. Press Spacebar to play. Let's press Spacebar again to stop and right click to shade smooth. Also press Ctrl 2 for a subsurf as well. Press spacebar to continue. Looking good. Let's apply some materials and we're done. Hope this was a fun tutorial for you. Please subscribe if you think my tutorials are helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.